guys, this video is an altar tour. And it's all thanks to Drew over at She Who Walks Between the Worlds. Because she posted one the other day. But um, before I get into it real quick, I just wanted to take a second and say that I have uh, six different altars. And it would take a way too long were I to show you all of them. But they're all very different. And that is the point of what I'm about to show you. I want to take a minute because I came across it recently and found it again. But uh, I wanted to show you my very first altar because back in the day I was kind of under wraps. And uh, so it, this was an easy way to kind of keep it out of sight as a beginner and to keep it, you know, from being talked about widely. So uh, this was my first altar. It's what's known as a tin mint altar. You uh, take a tin mint and just decorate it any way you see fit. Whatever, you know, strikes your fancy. And then inside, I simply had a candle for a little tea light for fire. A little tiny besom. Um, a little tiny shell for water. And a little tiny stone for earth. Oh, and the broom was air, just so you're aware. And here's the inside. And I did, I made it really pretty because that was just, for me, that's what it was all about. I like the aesthetic aspects. So that's how different they can look. Uh, so this first one I'm going to show you today, I think just one, maybe two. But I'm going to start with my unicorn altar. And then I may also show you my working altar in my bedroom. We'll see how long the first one takes. So, okay. Uh... Uh, let's get this turned around and get started, and I'll see you on. So, hi, here we are. Here is a clip from a distance, and then I'm going to move in closer and show you all the goodies. So, this is up at the top of the wall. It's my unicorn picture. It says, my unicorn made me do it. And then everything is better with a little magic. Sorry about the glare there. Keep life simple. Hello there, beautiful. All my love and my vision board for 2019. This this altar is really, really a lot about self-love. Uh, okay, so here are my stones that I use. And I'll show you that when we get there for um, path working. And I just want to take a minute and show you these lights. Yes, they are little unicorns. Uh, I think... I think I found them at Joanne's and I just couldn't walk away. It was Joanne's or Michael's because that's all we have here. So my little cup for offerings. It's just a little Goodwill find that struck me as beautiful because of the... I hope you can kind of see this. I know the light is really horrible in here, but that's my bedroom. There's no other light. And then my little offering dish. My unicorn because uh, just so you know, April 9th is... Uh, world unicorn day uh now this is really special so i've always been a huge huge unicorn fan as a child and uh the year i turned nine this was at the local store that we have down the road when i grew up and uh i'll see if i can i can no it's not gonna let me do it right now but it plays a song and the funny part to this is this, I got this the same year that um, the movie The Last Unicorn came out. Now, as a child, I didn't get to see that movie because if I had of, I would have been in love. But that wasn't just somehow I missed it growing up. So upon about 2014, when Peter Beagle took the movie and his book on tour, we went to Portland and were able to see it on the big screen. And I was able to have him sign the bottom. And he was excited to see it because it fit the movie even though it wasn't actually something from the movie. And then here's my little um, salt offering dish. I just love this. And then here's my little box. Oops, the unicorn is the lights are actually... <laughs> not supposed to be on it i put letters and different things it's empty right now as you can see and then the other one is um a different one but it actually has see there you can see looking back it has a mirror in it 
Here's my thing with my letter. I'm not going to show you that because it's personal spell work. And then um, this because it spoke to me. It says dream like a unicorn. I think I picked that up at the dollar store for a dollar. And then little unicorn representations. This one has come the farthest because I was in uh, Vegas earlier in the year and I didn't have a unicorn little, you know, representation. And so we brought this one. And I believe we found this one too at the same time while we were there. So there's that. And then we found this one over at Dollar General. And it's more of a Pegasus, but it was just so cute I couldn't resist. And then my owls, I went to uh, Colorado to house it for a friend in um, Estes Park or outside of Estes Park. And this little store had these. And they were just so cute as a couple that I'm like, I have to have them for my unicorn altar. And then somewhere I found an actual unicorn incense burner. And you can see my incense there. I think that's Moon. And then just a random feather I was gifted. And it's weird because it's black and kind of orange. And no, I don't know what kind of bird. It's a little one. But I just thought it was cool that it was orange and black. And then here is my selenite wand. Yeah. Okay. So now for the path working, this is my mand mandala. I may not be saying that right. But these are the stones I work with. Um... So we have, this is my favorite, Labradorite. And then, oops, 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 oops. Okay, okay. And then, uh, that one may be too. And you can't see the blue in here because of the light. And then some Lepidolite. And then Black Tourmaline for protection. Ametrine. This is whoop, aquamarine, and I'm fumbling with it. Sorry, there's the aquamarine. Rose quartz for self-love, and moonstone. And there's, uh, should be, let's see, four, five, six, is that seven? Four, oh, eight, okay, eight stones. But those are the eight, and in that bag you saw at the beginning, I have multiples. Those are just the eight that I have for now. And then this is something that I saw from Molly Roberts, and I made it myself. And um, communication is my big learning thing this year, really, truly. And so, well, last year and this year. So this was just, just plain glass. I found it at the Goodwill for like 99 cents. And so I cut out the things I wanted to illuminate and work with. Like that one says, when you start with the message I want to convey... Oh, right. Wait. When you start with the message I want to convey is that you get beyond words. What you said about... I'm trying to turn it. Sorry. Um, I have to be the change I want to see. What to say to not diminish my truth. These were all things that really spoke to me as I looked for the messages I wanted. The voices of truth say this. So I glued those all on there and then I painted it the funny green and it's really cool then I put a candle that's a lavender vanilla and it smells amazing and then I would show you but I don't have my lighter of course but when you light it up then this is all lit up and it illuminates those things that are important to me and then you can see here I had Sailor Moon here uh, that's my representation of the young divine feminine and it fell over and she stands there. And I think I've talked about this and referenced this before that Sailor Moon is on my altar. Because, oops, see, she falls over all the time. I may not get her to stand up. It's funny because I think she didn't come when I got this these little pieces. She didn't come with the stand. And so you see the little clay thing there. I made that. There you go. I made that myself for her out of that air dry clay or whatever that you make out of a uh, thing. And I made it. Okay, and then here you can see, and I skipped over this before, this is my big beautiful PC. You can see it there. This is Labradorite, and Labradorite is one of my main stones, and then there's just some different, you know, things here that 
it's all intuitive. I kind of love that way. And uh, those are there to help speak to the things that I want to work with. See some aquamarine, the moonstone, labradorite. I have a lot of that. That's one of my favorites. Uh, yeah, see, and then the, oh, I knocked her over again. See, ametrine, which is amethyst. I don't know if you can see the brown in there. Ametrine is, I should clarify that, it's amethyst and citrine in the same stone, and it's just beautiful. Uh, my tubal used to be ametrine until it took a hit, and then I had to get a new one. So, there you have it. There is my unicorn altar in all its glory. So... Uh, this one is already going to be over 10 minutes, so I think we'll just leave this here, and then I'll do a different one for the next altar that I decide to show you. Okay, thanks for watching. Blessed be.